Hi! How's it going? I just got back from the haunted house expedition that happened last night. <laughs> Live stream is still up. I'm sorry that it was a bit quick and a bit uh, <laughs> uh, non-scary. We went through without any scare actors and just us, me and Arctic. Watch the video. But I, 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 I. Inktober is officially over and I really wanted to do a video for you guys. So that's what we're going to do. I'm still in full makeup, but I wanted to do something really quick for you guys. And uh, I'm going to lose my voice after this. I was screaming a lot. Anyway, let's get to the Inktober pictures. Yeah. For this Inktober, I decided to put a self-imposed rule on myself since it was my first Inktober I have ever done. So, to make sure that I didn't overwhelm myself, I only limited myself to specific supplies. Halfway through I had to like stop doing that because things were running out and I'm poor and I can't buy anything else. But regardless, I limited myself to only two colors, grays and reds. I only broke this rule for one of the images, you'll see, but I stuck to it. Good for me. Uh, the other thing I limited myself to was micron pens, but mine ran out halfway through and I replaced it with a Sharpie. I've never drawn with a Sharpie before, so it was a very interesting challenge to partake in halfway through this challenge to begin with. Either way, let's get on to the prompts and the days and all the pictures. Let's go. All right, let's start things off. Relatively nice. Day one of Inktober, the prompt was swift. So, of course, I drew Mothman. Or my rendition of it. It's, it's cuter than it should be, but I'm still proud of it. Day two of Inktober. I... The prompt was divided. So, of course, the morbid person that I am, I drew somebody's head being divided in half with an axe. Because that, that, what, doesn't everybody think of that? I, I don't know. <laughs> don't judge me. For day three of Inktober, the prompt was poison. So, uh, being the basic bitch that I am, I drew the poison apple from Snow White. Because that's the thing. Day four, the prompt was underwater. This was the first time I have ever drawn a mermaid, and I'm super proud with it, how it turned out. And, and you know the boobs are nice, too. Day five of Inktober. <laughs> the prompt was long. I had a few problems with this one. I wanted to draw a dinosaur, but it, I just, it did not, it didn't happen. So the next thing I thought of was long hair. So who did I think of with long hair first? Yeah, that's right, Samara. Because the ring is a thing. A thing with the ring. Yeah. Anyway. Day six. The prompt was sword. So of course I drew my favorite person from... S <laughs> I drew my favorite person from Skyward Sword. Fi. Fi. Fi fo fum. Anyway. I'm not entirely happy how this turned out because of my little rule that I put on myself, but eh. we have a dog. Anyway, day seven of Inktober, and the prompt was shy. My lovely friend Arctic requested that I drew a shy guy for this because she was also partaking in Inktober, so I drew a shy guy. Ah. Day 8! The prompt was crooked. The first thing I thought of was a villain, and the first villain I thought of was Monokuma. And it totally wasn't because I was watching V3 at the time. Mm -mm, totally not. What, what are you talking about? Day 9! The prompt was Screech. For Screech, the first thing I thought of was a banshee, so we went with that. I like the concept of banshees. I'm just weird like that. Day 10 of Inktober. Here's where I had to start using that Sharpie. Eh. But the prompt was gigantic. 
my 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 thought about behind this was well for small things like ladybugs, everything is gigantic to them. So some of the smallest things can be the largest to other people. <laughs> Day 11. Dun, dun, dun. We're going along so quickly, aren't we? <laughs> the prompt was run. I, I don't know exactly what I was thinking when drawing this, but we have a girl running to try and save somebody who is obviously not... Just not. I really like how the shoe turned out. <laughs> Day 12. The prompt was shattered, so I drew a weird doll thing that apparently my dog does not approve of. Yeah, I drew it anyway. Day 13th. The prompt was seeming. And, well, it was Friday the 13th. So, I drew Jason from Friday the, thir the 13th. I just really wanted to try and mimic the style of font. I think I did pretty good. Oh. All right, going on to day 14. The prompt was fierce. So, being the LGBT community person that I am, I drew the fiercest person I knew, the Babadook. <laughs> uh, I love that Netflix messed up on that. The Babadook is totally a gay icon. <laughs> day 15, the prompt was mysterious. <laughs> For this one, I drew my favorite YouTuber to watch for, like, creepy videos, and that is Nick Nocturne, also known as Nightmind. I am really proud of how this turned out, and frankly, I hope he sees it. He probably won't, but I really like how the cat turned out. Anyway, day 16, the prompt was fat. Well, the first thing to come to mind when hearing the word fat was Roadhog, so uh, that's what I drew, because Roadhog is my big precious baby. Day 17, we're moving along so quick, and I just, I want to go to bed. <laughs> anyway, the prompt was graceful. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to draw Pennywise, but I, I made it a point because what's more graceful than Pennywise the Dancing Clown? You are your boat back, Georgie? You are your boat back, Georgie? Oh, this is a nice boat. Oh, nice boat. We all float down here. You'll float too. <laughs> Ow. My throat hurts. <laughs> Day 18. The prompt was filthy. So I drew my filthy little boy junk rat. See, it was totally okay that I drew a roadhog too. Shush. Anyway. Day 20, the prompt was deep. I, I, I thought about doing something like hashtag deep. Like, you know, when, when, you, when you do the thing. Metaphoric deep. <laughs> but here, here's, we just have a person going very deep underwater into the dark black abyss. Anyway, day 21 was furious. I just wanted to work on expressions. I don't know. Day 22, let's keep going. The prompt was trail. So I did a tr study, that's the word I'm looking for, a study of a picture that I found on the internet. I think I did pretty okay. The, the, the red kind of sticks out a bit too much, but eh, whatever. And day 23, the prompt was juicy. I'm going to be honest, I just wanted to draw Harley Quinn. Anyway, day 24, the prompt was blind. I, I drew J Jacksepticeye because he put out a call for his septic art contest -y thingy. So I, I, I drew him with his, or I, I drew Auntie, basically, with his eyes gouged out and Sam behind him doing the thing and being menacing and anyway day 25 we got the prompt of ship I always thought that Hancock looked like a ship captain in his uniform 
But I also just wanted to draw Hancock. He's my ghoul husband. I love him. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting distracted. Day 26. The prompt was squeak! I don't know exactly what I was thinking, but I made this... Oh, I made this, um... Little character of a mouse girl wearing a big oversized sweater and round glasses. She's cute, isn't she? Uh, I don't know. I think she's cute. Anyway, day 27, the day Stranger Things season 2 came out. So, of course, I drew 11, climbing up out of the pits of despair. By despair, I mean the Hawkins test facility. And she's climbing because the prompt was some um, climb. Anyway, all right, day, day 28, yeah, day 28, we got the prompt of fall, and I will just bring musical fan art out of my ass sometimes, and this is one of those times I drew Marvin, no, that's not Marvin, that's Windsor, I drew Windsor from Falsettos, because his, his, his song of... You gotta die sometime. It's just... I like that song. And he's fallen into the pits of despair because he's dying. We're such a happy channel here, aren't we? Anyway, moving on to day 29. The prompt was United. The first thing that I thought of about United, other than the company, was a cult. So we drew a cult. Because I like cults. Welcome to the cult, everyone. Again, thank you guys for subscribing. Uh, welcome to the cult. A link in the description for our Discord. That's new, and we're doing things. No nothing's really happening so far, because there's not a lot of people in here. But we can still do things. Anyway, day 30. The prompt was found. I'm gonna pull, pull out that musical bullshit out of my ass again, and we drew Connor from Dear Evan Hansen because hashtag you'll be found. If you haven't watched this musical so far, or just please take some time out of your day and watch it. It's wonderful, and it has a wonderful. It's just wonderful. It, it has a great message. I just I love it. Connor's one of my favorite characters. I just I love it. And last but not least. Day 31 of Inktober. The prompt was Mask. So I drew one of my characters. You, you will meet her sometime soon. I don't know how soon, but soon. And she is in a mask. Her bunny mask, to be specific. With a bat with nails in it. Just standing ominously in the middle of the road. Because what else do you do when you are in a mask? <laughs> Am I right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, whatever it is. Uh, I'm very proud of myself for um, actually making it through my first Inktober. That, that was maybe amazing. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I am drawing... Not drawing. I'm recording this right after I... It's been a long day. I'm sorry. Anyway, I still hope you enjoyed it. I hope that my rambling wasn't too bad. And just thank you for watching. Really, thank you for watching. Um, yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you all so very soon. Peace out. Bye-bye. Oh, oh, that was the highest I could go right there. That hurts.